Hey everyone, this is Beth, the producer of Totes Recall. The show will start in just a minute, but before it does, I wanted to tell you that we'll be doing another live Totes Watch Along on Friday, October 29th, 2021 at 8 p.m. Central. I'll fill you in with more details before the second half, but if you just can't wait that long, head to totesrecall.com to find out how to join us that night. It's online, it's free, and it's super fun. Now, time for the show. Totes Recall. Welcome to Totes Recall, the podcast where we talk about a movie we can't remember very well. And then we push pause on the recording. We go eat two pizzas and two salads. Thank you, patrons. And then we come back. We open our squeaky door. Creak. <laughs> and we talk again about the movie now that we have seen it. And this is me talking right now, Dan. <laughs> this is Molly. Wow, I'm also Dan. And I'm Beth. And our movie this Halloween Ooh. <laughs> episode is Hocus of Hocus. Oh. oh. Did we all forget? Yep. Nice. Well, no, I remembered oh. because I had to see where you could stream it. Mm. Ah. Yeah, I I <laughs> saw Hocus Pocus, but only part of it in last year. Oh. Okay. Wow. Yeah. My most shocking revelation is I always assumed the witches were the good guys. Oh, this is news yeah. to me. I have never seen it. Oh, oh no. shit. Oh, oh shoot. We got to do a pre call. Uh, REI presents Totes. Pre call. Pre call. Not quite seen it. Going to summarize it anyways. In under 60 seconds. Sponsorship pending. Still in 60. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Uh, go. Hocus Pocus has three famous ladies in it. Mm-hmm. They are Bette Midler okay. for sure. Sarah <laughs> Jessica Parker, maybe. Okay. And a third one with dark hair who is maybe the same lady from The Witches and John Wick 3. And I forget her name. Great. And the Addams Family. Um, I've just learned that they are the bad people. <laughs> so they are probably trying to, I don't know, eat children. 30 seconds. Um. This is a family movie, so they probably fail to eat children, and some children um, reverse their spell book with uh, ingenuity and friendship and hijinks, and in the end, they're sucked to the nether region, and there's also (laughs) some cats that can talk. Wow. (laughs) Okay. One more second. Uh, Uh, Time. Time. Focus, focus. <laughs> uh, great. Nether sure. region? Netherworld. <laughs> what is Whatever. the nether region? <laughs> well, nether, the nether region. Uh, yes. I suppose if that's what Ooh, you like to think about. Welcome to the, wow. the wow. kingdom of underpants. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good. I think so. I don't know. I've only seen it once when I've I was seen a youngin. It, okay. I've seen it many times okay. as an adult. Mm-hmm. Okay. Wow. I can't tell you really what it's about. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Uh, yeah, I didn't see this until I was older, mm-hmm. probably like, I'd say 28. Wow. wow. And my roommate. So was, that was what, like 1992? <laughs> Seven <laughs> years ago? It's like, like four years ago. <laughs> um, yeah, my, my roommate, that's like, uh, my former roommate, I should wow. say, that Oof. was her, one of her favorite Awkward. movies. And she was like, I can't believe you've never seen Hocus Pocus. Is that so why we, you're not roommates anymore? <laughs> yeah, we got in a big fight. <laughs> Uh, but I, I had never seen it. She showed it to me and mm-hmm. I was like, that is a movie. Mm-hmm. It's fine. And then it just wiped from your memory. <laughs> well then, and then I forgot it. And then we would watch it every year uh-huh. oh. for Spooktober. Yeah. We just kind of did a Halloween movie marathon. Sure. So like Beetlejuice and, um, what other movies would we watch? Beetlejuice and, um, Milo and Otis. Beetlejuice. I said it three times. No, oh, no one called me on it. I set you up for the perfect joke. I mean, it's, oh, it's so cliche. Something wrong with your hair. <sighs> oh, uh, no. <laughs> He's here. <laughs> Holly was Beetlejuice all along. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, so here's a voucher to get a free uh, soft serve ice cream at the concession. 
The longest con. <laughs> wow. Uh, I feel like our listeners at home should know, too, that your former roommate is the coolest. Yeah, she's awesome. Right. Yeah, and she's so great. So I would watch almost anything. Yeah, I mean, it's fun to watch because we would invite people over and eat mm. some like Halloween treats. Ooh. And then. No, okay, ever invited. Yeah, I don't yeah, think you I were. Don't think I ever got an That's invite. You that. definitely oh, were. I was well, we've to had an ice cream thing once. We've had a couple things. We did one with Jurassic Park. That I, oh. that I swung yeah. an invite to. We watched all Jurassic Park movies in a row. Uh, we did, I don't remember the other. Back to America. the Future? Oh, we did a Harry Potter thing. Mm-hmm. Oh, I was uh, we did Back to the Future, attempt. too. Okay, yeah, that one I got an invite yeah. to. Yeah, uh, you were all invited to all of them, I so don't I even. Don't, I don't think so. You <laughs> definitely <laughs> were. Check the tapes. Uh, you 100% <laughs> were. Well, it's I know three against you were. one, so. I, ha- I only focus. have like a few people that I invite to things, and you are on the list. <laughs> so, we'll especially for movies, I mean, you would think it would be on brand. Yeah, but it would also be on brand for us to forget. I feel like a real it's possible. Midler. This Halloween You're one was to the nether region. Yep. This <laughs> Halloween one was kind of like her birthday thing. Oh. So it's possible that maybe the hocus pocus one. Yeah, like, no, that makes sense. Birthday because I wasn't in charge of the invites. Sure, sure. 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 Oh she yes, of course. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yep. Well, You're all true. on her shit list. Shit list. Wow. Anyway, what were we talking? Is about? this movie in during? What am I trying to say? Does this movie take place during Halloween? Like, is it a movie where it's like, LOL, it's Halloween, and these real witches are also in town? Yes. Okay. It does okay. take place on Halloween. And does, does it take it follow? The witch procedure that is laid out for us in that other movie about witches we saw. The witches? Macbeth? The witches. <laughs> <laughs> there are three. Yeah. Yes. Do they do that? Is there a callback? Like, these are the same witches, nerds. They're like toil and trouble, oh, bubble, bubble. Yeah, that's what they keep saying. Rubble, rubble. Rubble, 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 rubble. rubble, rubble. <laughs> uh, Crispin, Glover's, Lover's, Mother. <laughs> yeah. What was it? What's your question? So is it the same thing where like they have hooved feet and purple no, eyes and stuff? No. So totally different criteria. They look like just kind of your standard witch. Oh, got it. Okay. I've got like a witch hat. Conical hat, wart. Yeah. Green skin. Not a green skin. Not green skin. Oh. oh. Yeah. I recall all I remember is that I feel like, yeah, they mostly and I'm only going off of Bette Midler here, is I feel like they are basically like, hey, here's Bette Midler with a very specific Directive from makeup and wardrobe. Yeah. But it's yeah. still just like, I mean, maybe she's got a prosthetic nose. She's got big so. teeth, yeah. I want to say. So they might oh. have some prosthesis, prosthesis, prosthesis. Yes. Mm-hmm. All of them. I don't know. Because I feel like maybe all of them have at least something. Because maybe she's got the teeth and then maybe SJP has like the nose. I think she's something. just like a. I don't know. I think she just looks like her. Okay. Mm-hmm. I don't remember exactly. But they, they are trying to kill children. Like two of them, and there's like a little boy, maybe. Yeah, they use the children to make a youth serum oh. or something like that. Oh. oh, people are gonna be so mad! And I'm mad at myself because I have seen this movie many times. I mean, by people, do you mean your former roommate? Yes. Okay. <laughs> um, Does this movie take place uh, in contemporary times? Great question. Yes. Okay. Is and there? <laughs> as I said, this is like twenty-one is questions. Is there a? <laughs> does it fit in a? Is there box? a moment in the movie that is not in current times as like these are who the witches oh, are or and, were? And oh, if so, it's Salem. Back. They go to Salem for sure. Yes. Sepia tone. These Dance are all bad true. Sepia tone. Oh. Well. Oh, I don't know about sepia tone. Ah, Dan's about sepia tone. Se- Salem Pia. Salem, Salimpia, Salim, Salim. Anyway, tone shits. Are these <laughs> okay? <laughs> Leave us uh, Dan's bat. The witches are re- returned from the nether regions due to uh, children not either not being able to read the warnings or uh, ignoring them because they're hot teens. Oh, yeah. Yeah. just the dawn happens. What they. Okay, it's it is something like that, right? Yeah, what? where it's like it, time based. There's like a house. Yeah. That's like haunted. It's like the Sanders sisters' house. Yeah. Oh. Or something. And there's a candle in it, and yeah. they light the candle. Oh, okay. it's yes. like some hot teens break it into the old abandoned house, and then they fuck yeah. shit up and call out witches. Yeah. But do they? Ju- is it literally just they light the wrong candle, or is there more to it? I assume there's got to be something where it's like, oh, they accidentally read from the book or something. Oh, maybe. No, they There's, literally just light a candle. The book is like a big deal. Okay. They're trying to the at some point the witches are trying to find the book. 
Okay. Or get oh. the book. That's like the Hocus Pocus manual. Yeah. Okay, Dan's <laughs> bet. Children, teens, hot teens, break into an old house that's spooky Halloween. They find the book. They do something with the book that summons the witches. They panic, run away with the book, and now oh. the witches are like, God damn it, they've got the book. We got to get the book. That's incites our spells. our whole deal. Sounds good. <laughs> I'm not asking you to confirm. I just, Make we're seated bet. in an arrangement now where I make eye contact with you instead of That's Dan. That's true. I just really feel like I should know what happens in this movie, and I do not. Oh, whatever. I know there's the character's name. Okay, there's a boy okay. that gets turned into a cat. Oh. An old timey boy. What? Wait a minute. What? Wait. Are we talking about Wait. the witches now? You're adding so many elements. Old I'm boy? I'm losing my mind. There's an old boy. Old boy? <laughs> old boy. <laughs> he's, learned to, is... he's learned to box by watching television and boxing the wall? <laughs> yes. Yeah. His name is Thackeray Binks. Whoa. He gets turned into Thackeray a- Thackeray with a Thackeray. T? Thackeray. Thackeray. So this kid definitely is sepia Oh, tones. this kid is a cat. I remember this part. Keep going. He gets turned into a cat. In, in the old times. In old times. old times. Then he's a cat in modern Immortal times. Immortal cat. Yes. Wow. Or maybe it comes back when they light the candle. He also comes back. Oh, I like don't he's also trapped in the nether regions. And he befriends one of the kids and yes. gives them instructions. As a cat? And he's uh-huh. like, yeah, as a meow. Cat. As a cat. Meow, meow, meow. Read this book. Yeah. Um, I think his sister gets killed <gasps> oh. in old times. And so it's like kind of like revenge. He needs to protect new sister. <laughs> there's a boy, and a, a, there's a boy. Modern boy, mm-hmm. new boy, new boy. Uh-huh. Okay, new boy has new little sister, okay. Okay. and he has new girl crush. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and I believe they are the hot teens that break into the. Hot teens are always breaking into houses. Yeah, hey it's teens, like, let's get dangerous, and then let's get dangerous. <laughs> let's get but down. with proper protection, if our public school system has taught us anything. Yes, take condoms when you break into hot yes. houses. That's the totes reading. Hey, That's something we all agree about. Everybody pass <laughs> out candy I mean, and prophylactics on Halloween, <laughs> homeowners. Yeah. Well, I don't know that all children trick or treating need that. Okay. Need okay. For that. Ask each child when they come to your <laughs> door if they are or no, plan to be sexually, sexually active food. in the next 48 hours <laughs> yeah. for Halloween. <laughs> and then throw, throw is, condoms at them because yeah. there's still a pandemic. You yes, can't, exactly. You know, Put the condoms in the little pulley system you created that looks like a skeleton is giving them candy. And then give this half a skeleton, give them the condoms. Yes. Oh, my. I mean, really this what they should do is they idea. should just have a dispenser inside all abandoned homes. Oh, that makes sense. Uh, hey, sure. Health department? City? Municipal governments? Yeah. If you don't knock down an abandoned home, put some goddamn condoms in it. Yeah. And no, don't put like the bathroom ones where you need a quarter because teens don't got quarters. No, that's true. You got to make the condoms free. QR codes at best. <laughs> sure, maybe Apple Pay. Sure. Also, municipal people, just rebuild the fucking house and put the unhoused in it. Yeah. Jesus, find any cursed objects, get rid of them first, <laughs> yes. then house the unhoused. All right. For fuck's well, then sake. What are teens supposed to do? Just they could go to the park. Yeah. Make, park? Just furtively touch each other when your parents aren't home. They all have at least one job because no one can survive. Yeah. God, the world is a teen's oyster now. Their parents have to work two jobs. The government's not going to help them. No, I guarantee you there's some time where no one's at home. Absolutely. Just find the key under the thing and get in there. Yeah, or use like your Amazon Bezos code to open your locks because we live in a dystopia. Yeah. Anyway, Dan's bet. Uh, The girl crush, either it's her idea to go into the home or she happens to be hanging. Like they run into each other while he's having to take his dumb little sister trick-or-treating and he wants to look cool instead of a nerd who's taking his sister trick-or-treating. He's like, yeah, let's go into the haunted house. Oh, those are both very good bets. I think it's the second one. You think he it's his idea to look cool and not he's pressured into it by the girl crush? I think he's posturing mm-hmm. so he doesn't look like a lame who cares about his family. Yes. Which is not lame and also lame-o cool is me ableism. for using lame Because, yeah. yes, that's ableist. So it's not bad <laughs> to like your family. <laughs> hot take. Yeah, hot takes. But also it's fine if you don't. Yeah. Sure. Yes, you don't have to do what you want. Hey, oh, God damn it. <laughs> for this Halloween, if you need to, uh, what's the word? Adopt another family? No, the 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 kick yourself out of a family. What's that word? Oh, oh, uh, Not, estrange yourself. Yes. yes, I was gonna say eviscerate, but that's wow. Whoa, that's, that's brutal. Halloween. Different. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh boy. <laughs>
Yeah, uh, you can uh, you can self estrange. Is that the word? You can estrange no, your family of? from your family. Self, not actual. Emancipate. There it is. Emancipate. There you go. Emancipate yourself. I feel like a strange has too much baggage. Well, I mean, I mean, who brought the baggage though? Am I mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Anyway, if you want, you know what? It's cool if you like your family, and it's okay if you don't. Yes, but pretending you don't when you do to look cool. That's not cool. Not Not that cool. No, not cool. Especially if it's just an innocent younger person. Because, hey, older siblings, your young siblings have nobody else to look to because their family's a mess. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes, hypothetically speaking, of course. (laughs) Not always, my parents are divorced. (laughs) (laughs) I bet that they... Instead of flying on brooms, yes. they can't find brooms. Okay. So they're like on a vacuum cleaner. Oh, nice. I remember vacuum. Oh, humor. Yeah. I love it. And like a mop, maybe. Okay, I have a broader question. This is for the table. Do we think this movie is essentially like Gremlins except with three women? I oh. think if we go in with that expectation, we're going to be disappointed. Mm. I think there's some Gremlin-like elements. Yeah. Which aspect of Gremlins? Like I just the mean hijinks? Like, I just mean like... The town is over. Yeah I, yeah, I just mean like, here's a town that has no idea what is happening, and there's just this like weird non-human element causing chaos. Yeah. I actually I don't think, think they're it's gonna a like, lot like Gremlins. I don't think they're like killing dogs and getting like thrown into blenders or whatever, but... Okay. Is anybody going to be smoking a lot of cigarettes in a bar, though? Oh, God damn. I hope so. <laughs> is there a flasher witch? Dan's bet. Uh, <laughs> no, but I will bet that... Third witch, who I believe is Kathy Najimi, mm-hmm. uh, oh. does smoke at some point because that just seems like something her character would do in a movie. Maybe. Like, given the dynamic that I assume I remember between the three of them, she seems like the one most likely to just, like, light up a cigar or something. She's yeah. the bad witch of the trio. I just mean she's like the I don't give a fuck witch. Oh, uh, secondhand smoke. Yeah. Yeah. Spooky. Do they ever say hocus pocus in this Great movie? Great question. Is that a powerful incantation they... Use hocus pocus, smokus. Is wait, <laughs> hocus pocus is from Macbeth, right? Oh, I'm gonna look that up. Best bet, hocus pocus is a line from Macbeth. Nice. Uh, I don't think they do say it out loud, but it's probably a main point of the movie, and that's how little I remember of it. Yeah, they yeah. definitely there is a dance party. Oh, okay, like hot team dance, dance party, like a school dance. <laughs> no, it's like. <laughs> Parents. Oh, all the parents are at the party, so all the they parents can. Parents are at the party. They're trying to help find help, but they can't because all the parents are at the party. Yeah, Is they're there, stuck at the party. I see. That's like a legit party, or like the witches are like, "Ooh, make all the oh. parents horny so we can get those kids." Yeah. I think it's a legit party that gets turned into <gasps> make those parents horny. Yes. Whoa. Actually, yeah, make them dance forever. Mm. Oh. Hot shoes. Do they- any adults get involved? <laughs> no, they're dancing. No, I think they, yeah, they get. There isn't like a weird vagrant that nobody oh, likes? Yes. There is a. Oh, hell yeah. Like a zombie guy. What? What? Bi- Billy. I don't know. He's played by. Okay, you know the guy who plays all the like. He's like tall. And Molly. he plays right. all the like. Um, <laughs> he played the fish man in the movie that won the Academy Award. Oh, in Fish Sex movie? Yeah. Oh, uh, b- 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 oh Doug. 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 Uh, D- uh, Doug, Doug Jones? Yes. Oster okay. Home. Yes. Doug Jones plays this like zombie man f- from old times and he gets brought back and then he. Oh, they bring they bring she, like a familiar to come help? Or is he just. The witches scared? do, yes. Yeah. Oh. But then, yeah. He but, there's, but then tables are turned. Oh. And he actually wants to fight against the witches. So there's Ooh. no just like weird town person that people think are spooky that helps the kids that turns out to be nice, like Home Alone? Yeah. Not that I can think of, okay. but again, that might be a major character that I'm just Dan's like, bet glossing over. Weirdo town person that nobody trusts or likes Wisdom turns out character. to be yeah, yeah turns out to actually be very helpful and not at all spooky and weird. That happened to me one time. What you were the spooky person that turned no, out to be- <laughs> I was the beneficiary of a scary person. Oh, oh. Um, my sister and I had a misadventure in Chicago, which is not a place we were from. Mm. Uh, this is the very short version, but, uh, basically we had to find our way home from the aquarium, which Mm. is pretty far away from where we were staying, um, using, we only had, um, $5 between us, which was enough for a Snickers bar and two tickets on the bus, but only one, right. So we had to transfer and we had to transfer three times. Wow. Um, and I was like probably 10 and my sister was 13. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. We did not have cell phones 
or aid of any other adults. And if we, if we had, we would have been terrified to have told my mom that something had gone wrong. So we got through the first two buses. And I have to tell you that Chicago bus drivers in that era were unkind, would not talk to us, would not help us. And we were pretty much at the point of tears, out of options to try to get on the last one because, you know, the transfer expires after a certain mm-hmm. amount of right. time. And there was a homeless man who um, had dentures that didn't, like, that weren't affixed. Mm-hmm. So his dentures went at a different pace than his mouth did, if mm-hmm. that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Extremely helpful. Extremely helpful. Totally helped us out. Did not need to. We had literally nothing to give him. Uh, and he helped us get on our bus. He clarified we needed to take the bus from across the street and told us exactly how many stops. Nice. And sent Aww. us on this way. So That's awesome. Yeah. He was fantastic, and I'll never be able to thank him, but I bet I did. I bet I did in the moment. I bet I had giant tears in my eyes. <laughs> we Aww. were so scared. And you know what? We got home before my mom did, and guess when we told her about it? Yesterday. In our 20s. <laughs> well into our 20s. <laughs> Great. Never mentioned it. She said, how was the aquarium? We said, cool. Yeah, nice. <laughs> Fine, mom, whatever. God, just a bunch of fish. Ugh. <laughs> then you kicked over something. <laughs> Molly, that is a new story. Yes! So let's remember this. Let's record it in the books. Hocus Pocus episode, <laughs> October of 2021. Yeah. Molly tells a story about going to the aquarium and almost getting lost, save for a very kind man with dentures. Yes. Yes. I want to say all these details now so that we catch one early. of them early. Catch it early. Yeah. Just mm-hmm. when I see Chicago, yeah. shut it down. <laughs> yeah. Just assume. Yeah. Just assume yeah. it's okay. not going anywhere good. Great. All right. Um, this is cool. Do we think it passes the Bechdel Wallace? Great question. Yes. It seems yeah. like hard pass. Like all if the those time. witches aren't named, this is a problem, right? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. I was thinking, too, about the two women kid characters. Mm-hmm. Yeah. they talk? I think they How do. How many times do we think it'll pass? I will hot oh. bet and say, even without the witches, it passes. Oh, a non-witch pass. Witches not involved at all or just not two, two witches? I'm saying no witch involvement whatsoever pass. No witch pass. That's wow. my hot bet. Wow, that is hot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think I can double bass on that. Okay, great. Feeling confident that the person who may or may not remember this movie agrees with me. <laughs> well, I'll say only witches pass. Ooh, oh, spicy. Spicy. Yes, spicy. Uh, that sounds great. Yeah. yeah. I I was going to say, when you said how many times does it pass, is each instance, like each sentence where it passes, is that a like a point toward? Each conversation. Okay. Mm. Distinct All right. conversation. Yeah. And the conversation can be two lines. But I would say that every scene has a pass in it. Wow. Wow. What? That is very hot, bold. Hot, that is hot, extremely hot, spicy. What about when they're like, oh, the nether regions. <laughs> like, that's it. They just say that. Uh, well, they're saying that probably to a woman. Nice. Who's like, yeah. I heard you. I'm the kid that's <laughs> okay. here as well. I right. agree. This All is right. terrible. Yeah, I don't know. Well, wow. I'm excited. Wow. I'm excited for this one. How should we rate this movie, Molly? Well, um, we're going to rate this based on Hocus Smokus. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Is, is this a brand of cigarettes? This, oh, my gosh. <laughs> or is this a wacky weed? Ah, uh, which almost certainly exists, oh, right? Absolutely, Hocus Pocus <laughs> is for sure a strain. Absolutely. Okay, well, if it's based in reality, then we'll step away from that one, and we'll just assume it's regular cigarette mm-hmm. brand. Yeah, mm-hmm. that only witches smoke, or well, yeah, supernatural. Consumers. Oh, so this is like a this is like a uh, like a Harry Potter type situation where like mm-hmm. you have to go to specific it's locations. Like the butter to even, beer yes, of cigarettes, or the yes. chocolate frog, or whatever. Mm-hmm. Okay, jelly right. bean, every bean. Okay, so if I'm reading Harry Potter book eight that yep. comes out and Harry Potter picks up c- cigarette smoking. Which he definitely no, does because that be is a like stressful in the job. teacher's lounge. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not like a primary. I don't think Harry smokes. As an adult, oh. he definitely smokes. You think so? Absolutely. But he hides it. Yeah, he hides it. <laughs> oh. He's had like a really Rough intense life. life. That's yeah. yeah. That's true. So um, he's he's got a pack of Hocus Smocus yep. yeah. in his back pocket. I, yeah, it. and I bet uh, Dumbledore and Howard, uh, <laughs> I bet they pack their pipes with loose, a loose pouch loose of Hocus Smokus. Smokus. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Yep. And, you know, that's made specifically for wand lighting. Oh, cool. Oh. Yeah. 
Like you touch your wand to it and poof? Yeah. I mean, you got to say like tabacium, Tabacium light up them or whatever. (laughs) Ignisius. That's much better. You got them. Ignisius is much better. (laughs) Okay. Great. All right. Hocus, smokus. Now are these, we're rating one to five. Mm -hmm. Are these single... Are they cigarettes Lucy's? are these. Mm, let's be generous. They're packs. Nice. Wow. Okay. Wow. Because that way you can have a half pack. Yeah. And you can roll them up in your cloak sleeve to yes. be cool. <laughs> Dan, you go first, as we so all know. So much fabric. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, you probably you could hide so many <laughs> cigarettes in your cloak sleeve. Um, I feel like when I was a kid, I was probably like, oh, yeah, this is a goofy movie, but I bet there's a good chance that I, since I enjoyed it, that, like, I remember it just being a goofy movie as a child, like, it's a very good chance it's terrible, um, because that's how kids' movies work, even though it's not necessarily a kids' movie, you know what I mean? Uh, I'm going to be generous, though, because Beth's former roommate watches it all the dang time, so it's got to be at least somewhat not horrible, even if it's stupid. Uh, So I'll say a cowardly three packs of Hocus Pocus. All right. With... Hope for more. I mm. hope to smoke even more. Hocus yeah. smoke. <laughs> wow. We should say teen smoking is not cool. No. Yeah, earmuffs for cool. a second. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and not teens, it's really cool. Okay, magic <laughs> cigarettes? Are you kidding wow. me? How badass is that? Yeah. Can you imagine like if in Casablanca he was smoking hocus smoke. Imagine cigarettes. if Rick pulled out a magic wand and lit a fucking cig <laughs> on the tarmac. Like, Are you kidding the? me? And that's yeah, the one scene he pulls out a magic wand. It's like, <laughs> what is this movie? Ends. Twist ending. What? He was a wizard the whole time? <laughs> it would get on the AFI list twice. Oh, yeah. my God. Yeah. Great film. Great film. Great cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> Beth. Yes. I don't think I will love this movie. Mm-hmm. I think the movie is okay, but I think that there are some wackadoo moments that make it enjoyable, and I think I'll have fun watching it with you all. Three. <laughs> <laughs> Three pack. Three pack. Nice. Okay. Um... I have never seen this. Sorry, who are you? My name is Dan. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I am third, as we all know. I've never seen this, probably. I feel like there's a chance I saw part of it on mm-hmm. TV. Sure. Mm-hmm. So I'm willing to go that far. But I will have, I anticipate zero nostalgia, which I feel like is probably where this wins for an adult watching it. Mm-hmm. Um, and... I don't know, a family movie, a horror family movie somehow doesn't sound appealing to me. So I'm going to say two. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Two packs, one for each sleeve. Nice. <laughs> Love that. Very cool. Very cool. Uh, Molly, is, you are next. Yes. Um, you know, I was just realizing we forgot to say what year we thought this came out. Yeah. Shit, shit. That's where I was going with my contemporary question. Then oh, the comments. 93. Yes. Moved past it. 83? 93. 93. Yeah, 90 is a good bet. 90 seems good. I'm, I'm saying 91. Just, I'll say, uh, did you say 93? Mm-hmm. I'll say 92. Mm. Price is right. Yep. 94. Nice. It's probably 95. <laughs> 95 was my gut, so we'll know. Too late. I'm okay. running it. <laughs> All right, great. You're locked in. Locked in. Um, yeah, because I have no, um, that would have been all of these dates around the time I was finishing up high school. So this really wasn't on my radar. And yeah. I, I truly, I think I watched it last Halloween, but only the last 30 minutes maybe. Mm-hmm. And I was just surprised by the costuming and that the witches were mean. But I like that there was a talking cat. So we can only go up from there. Sure. I'll give it an optimistic three packs of Hocus Smokus. Nice. Mm. Great. Yep. One Sounds in my back like it's pocket. going to be okay. <laughs> we hope so. And I'm really sorry for anybody at home who loves this movie. That's fine. We shit on movies all the time. You especially. Oh. <laughs> And with that, we're going to press pause, watch Hocus Pocus, and we'll be right back. Uh, um. Hello again. Beth here to tell you more about the Totes Watch Along happening on Friday, October 29th at 8 p.m. Central. We'll be watching the very spooky Halloween movie, Deep Blue Sea, because sharks are the monsters of the sea. If you didn't join us at our last one, here's how this works. We'll be streaming live on YouTube and Facebook starting at 8 p.m. Central, And you can pull us up on your computer, phone, tablet, wherever. Then you pull up the movie wherever you stream movies at home, like on your TV or another window on your computer. D 
Deep Blue Sea is available on Netflix, and you can rent it on most streaming apps. We'll have a countdown to start the movie, and we'll all press play at the same time and watch the movie together. We'll be providing commentary and comedy online, plus you can play along by commenting on YouTube or Facebook. This will be happening live on Friday, October 29th, 2021 at 8 p.m. Central. If you can't make it live, you can still enjoy the show later on our YouTube channel. In fact, if you missed the show in April when we watched Jiu-Jitsu, kind of starring Nick Cage, that is still available on our YouTube page for you to enjoy. So head to totesrecall.com for more details. We hope you can join us. The last one was so much fun, and we're really looking forward to watching Deep Blue Sea with you all. Now, back to Hocus Pocus. Um, um, and we're back. We just watched one hour and 36 minutes of... Um. <laughs> wow. Wow. Witches. Witches. And teens. Teens. And, teens and dust. Dancing. And magic. Books. And magic. And a cat. There was definitely a cat. Yes. And boo. Book. Yeah, they call it, <laughs> they have an evil tome book. And they only call it book, and that bothered me. Because <laughs> books okay, have okay, titles. Okay. Before we yeah. get into your weird hangups about what you should name a book. I have a master's in library studies. <laughs> yeah, but isn't that more about like how to sort books based on their name, not what you should name a book? Sure, but if every book is book. Okay, shut up. So there's a re- there's an award-winning segment. <laughs> One book. We'll talk about it. Yeah. There's an award-winning segment that maybe you've heard of. Oh, yeah. I uh, have heard oh, of it. It's Definitely. won many awards, including yeah, yeah. the... National... Um... Mm-hmm. Uh, six years running on the uh-huh. presidential uh-huh. of excellence. Mm-hmm. Yep. The uh, hobbies. <laughs> and the, fr- the what? I'm sorry? Frommies. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the old, the old homers and frommies. Uh, <laughs> as every <laughs> podcast segment creator hopes, hopes to mm-hmm. take home that... Yeah. I, I know that when I was like, let's start a podcast, yes. I yeah. was like, I hope to one day take home the phone. <laughs> yep. As we all did. Because mm-hmm. we were like, of course, the most lauded award in podcasting. Yes. yes. Chalice of <laughs> <laughs> This segment is, of course, 60 Second Summary. Six Sex Sum Award That's the winning. one awards, awards, awards. Yeah. In which we summarize the movie we just watched, Hocus Pocus. In 60 seconds. I, as is tradition, will <laughs> volunteer to do it. I think I just did it, though. So. Recently, I think you yeah, did for too. sure. Um, so I nominate Beth. Okay. Great nomination. Mm, this uh, is going to be a disaster. Seconded. This is not like the hundredth time I've seen this movie. <laughs> just watched it. Yes. Not going to be able to exactly. do it. Exactly. That is why I felt it was appropriate. Are you ready, Okay. Beth? You accept the nomination. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Tentatively. <laughs> is that the right word? No. Are you ready? <laughs> Hesitantly. Either one. Go. Okay, so we open on, I don't remember. (laughs) Strong start. (laughs) It's the past. Uh, A boy and his uh, sister are around. I don't know. The boy is looking for his sister. The sister has been kidnapped by witches. The sister is then, um, nope, then he's turned into a cat. (laughs) Okay, okay, great. (laughs) He's turned into a cat. Three witches turn him into a cat. They also uh, eat the sister's soul to become younger. Then the thirty witches seconds. Get, oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> the sisters die because they are hung. <laughs> I can't. Come on, you can save yourself. Ten seconds. Okay. Uh, then at the end, they kill the witches because the sun rises. Wow. <laughs> There's a book and a cat and a dance party. And time, 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 time. Wow. Time, 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 time. Wow. <laughs> okay, I'm going to say B minus. Pretty good. <laughs> like, wow, really? Yeah. I mean, you nailed the fact there are three sisters. Mm-hmm. You nailed the fact that three witches turned someone into a cat. Nailed the fact that they are defeated because of the sun. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I think, you know, maybe you've <laughs> lost over just a, a few. Like a, a couple like of. two thirds of the Minor movie. details, yeah. though. Just well, minor details. I had to d- describe how the movie's set up, and I was yeah. already at 30 seconds. Yeah. And then, by then, I yeah. was I lost well, it. Well, and then you then you started thinking about the funniest scene <laughs> in the movie where three women are hanged. <laughs> it's hilarious. Yeah. 
Yeah, we they open do, on as a do, trap. It, it That's really what I've is. learned. It really is. Yeah, it is. I should have just said three witches came back from the past. Ooh, no, nice. years ago. They are re- they're awo- awoken. Do you want me to start the clock again? No. <laughs> no, this is too much. It's just a couple details. We'll fill yeah. it like just one or two details. Okay. <laughs> they, uh, a hot teen from California is now in Salem, Massachusetts. He yes. is a virgin, lights a candle, the witches come back. Right. He is the older brother of a uh, younger sister, Danny, yes. who figures prominently because she is ultimately stolen by the witches. Yeah. yeah. The witches try to eat children again to not die within a day, but. The kids foil those plans. Yes. There's also spells that happen to the adults so that the script successfully keeps the adults away (laughs) from the story. Yes. Yeah, and there's trouble making teens that steal his... our hero's shoes. Oh, and Johnny Depp stars as. Okay. A, <laughs> it's actually like a discount version of Johnny Depp. I How don't know. dare oh, you! Wow. No, it was other well way done. around, honestly. Okay. Doug Jones plays a weird zombie thing whose mannerisms were very reminiscent of the not yet even in existence for another decade Pirates of the Caribbean True. character Jack Sparrow. And he was so committed that he had live moths in his mouth oh, that he released. Cool. In one of the scenes. So good job. Doug Jones. That's our second movie with real animals and mouths. It is? Yeah. Yeah. What's the other one? A bird? Oh, Batman Returns. Batman Returns. Yeah. Oh, Only yeah. our second, really? I don't know. That we know. Do they? Nope. Never mind. To take it back. That's a dead body in Silence of the Lambs where they pull the oh, moth the out of its moth. mouth. Yeah. Oh, that's I mean, bad. that might have just been like a weird piece of plastic. That was no, in it was mouth. a moth. It was? Yeah. Oh, we don't know if it was a real moth. We yeah. think it's probably a prop, but we don't know. No, but the body know. might have been a prop. Body yeah. could have been a person, though, an actor. That's true. Isn't that cheaper? Hey, look it up, people. Hey, yeah. yeah. Hey. Tweet us. Dead moth mouth <laughs> is the hashtag. Yes, and course. then fill in the rest of the details. Hashtag also Johnny Depp stole Pirate Man from Doug Jones Zombie Man 1993. That's fair. That's fair. Didn't he steal it from Keith Richards? Yes, he did. So maybe Doug Jones was like, ooh, who's a living zombie that I can... <laughs> uh, even in 1993. Even in 1993. Dan nailed it. Mm-hmm. Um, ooh, did I? Yep. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> A traditional horn of guessing the year, right? <laughs> it sounded like that tiny trumpet from The Little Mermaid. You know, that little, like, Oh, the little, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, beep, beep, beep. <laughs> yeah. His Majesty, the King of the uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yep. Wow, it's cool how the movie we watched this week was Hocus Pocus. Yes. Yeah, Which, also a Disney film. Yes. Yes. Disney film. So they say connected. Hocus Pocus in this film. Twice. Twice. At least, right? They did, yes. Yeah. 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 One of them said it. In earnest, yes. And then one of them said it, flinging it back in his face. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. But it was never a spell, right? right. It was no, never an no. Spell. The spells never contained the words hocus pocus. He says, as he looks into the camera, <laughs> it's all a bunch of hocus pocus. And then he yeah. waits a beep. Uh huh. And then he's like, "Get it, everyone." <laughs> <laughs> and then he goes back to acting. And then a little graphic runs across the screen and says, "Thank you for purchasing a ticket to hocus pocus." <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. This is yep. the movie you are watching. Please recommend it to your friends. <laughs> Dang, are you okay? <laughs> no, that's fine. Um, I have a note here. Wow. <laughs> I was Judgy. Tr- I was trying to pick behind the scenes. I was trying to pick which note to transition to, and I thought one of my notes said pants party. <laughs> <laughs> and I was trying to figure out which the pants party was, right. but it's parents party. I mean, pants it might party. have turned into a pants party. We don't know. Yeah. The uh, the parents are got out of the way by being made to dance forever. Yes. Yes. Someone said that, Beth. Introduced. Probably. Yeah, I definitely said it in the 60-second summary. Nobody said it afterward. Yeah. Right. Uh, well, because... someone bet it before, too. Oh, oh. In the first half, you say? In the first half. And they'd be horny. I wrote horny parents. Mm. Mm. I mean, the first half. I mean, they got the Madonna bra on. That's true. It's a what horny bra. I it's, didn't expect this. I thought that the dancing would be unpleasant, but it seems like the parents were mostly unfazed. It seemed like it seemed like the LA parents were unfazed and the rest were like pretty worn out. Mm. Yeah. Which Dan suggested meant that they were huge coquettes. Yeah. <laughs> I mean they moved from LA. It's it's not the 80s, but it's pretty close. There is right. so much LA bashing. I suppose we should say this takes place in Salem. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, this kid comes from California and they immediately the like rules. lit into him about like his tie dyeness. Yeah, but also like it started because the coolest teacher in the world decided to lay into him. Yeah, she that teacher rules. rules. She's my MVP. 
She's describing the Sanders sisters who are the Sanderson sisters. And then, like, when she gets to the scary climax, the story just, like, throws like, a streamer into a kid's face. A kid. <laughs> like, oh, so gotcha. Um, and then our cool California guy, Max like, Dennison, is like, oh, it's not real. Oh, Witches are bullshit and Isn't corporate. Isn't his little sister is Danny Dennison? That's right. Yeah. Oh. Probably Danielle. Uh, that works. I don't know. I feel like that's bad thinking. Anyway, California, they do that wow. kind of thing. Uh, <laughs> apologies to everyone with an alliterative name out there. Molly <laughs> has decided you're garbage. Yep. None of no. us. <laughs> I, I don't really, but I would think if no, you're a screenwriter. So. If you're a screenwriter, yeah. I don't know. Sorry, Chris Cooper. Yeah. You're canceled. You're canceled, <laughs> Coops. Uh, anyway, so they it. really let, <laughs> that's the one. So the teacher really lets in, lets lets in, lets in on. What do they call it? Lays in. There we go. There you go. On this poor kid from California. She like straight up calls it out. It's just like, oh, California boy is too cool for whatever for Halloween. And then everybody in the class like applauds. Like, okay, yeah, 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 like, yeah. Fuck this kid. <laughs> <laughs> Halloween rules, which is a real. Yeah. Yes. They're that, all great. The kid that is applauding in the back is probably my MVP. Just the like They're his, so into it. Yeah. He just really was like, This is my one job today and I'm going to crush it. Absolutely. <laughs> I do like the idea of uh just like the Salem culture being such that like yeah, even even like cynical teens are just like, Hell yeah, teach witches. <laughs> <laughs> Which is rule. Let's ignore the misogynistic overtones in our history. Yeah. Yeah, just get to the curses part. Yeah. 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 yeah see, these witches, it was okay because they stole the soul from a child. So it's right. fine that the, the town just, without any sort of due process, decided to hang them. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. They were actual witches instead of just women with ideas. Yeah. ideas. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Real Salem is like, so depressing. Oh, yeah. for real. You mean Apparently, like now? Yeah. Ah. Sarah Jessica Parker. Okay, I went to a trivia site That's that was me. very poor. What's, uh, What's the site? Trivia I site? literally don't know. I just typed in trivia. Uh, type it in trivia to the search bar. Looking for trivia about the movie that i and things. Diary of a... That was the most monastic version I think. <laughs> I was kind of going for a Morrissey vibe. Yeah. It was very cool. Um, but apparently, Sarah Jessica Parker went on that show. It's like, who are you? Or who you do know, you think you are? Who oh, do yeah. you think you are? Yes. Oh, is that that uh, What's his name? genealogy? Yeah. Yeah, it's just, yeah, people go, celebrities go back. And it turned out that her like grandmother, 10 generations back or something, was in fact tried as a witch and the oh. last witch to be tried in Salem. Whoa! What? Wow. Yeah. Well, that's so she did not Goody know Parker that. was tried as a witch. <laughs> Apparently. Wow. Yeah, wow. Kind of amazing, but the fact that she wasn't dead is part of the reason that Sarah Jessica Parker exists. Yeah. So she was acquitted of being a witch? Yeah, or? apparently, like, she was towards the end when people were like, wait a minute, this might be dumb. <laughs> Ugh. This is my paraphrase. Like somebody burst into the courtroom, just like, "Hey guys, wait a second! <laughs> we can't kill all the women." I just thought of something. <laughs> they make the babies for us. <laughs> oh, speaking of guys, some of these trials we've come up with are impossible to win. <laughs> I've been running the numbers. <laughs> Either we're really good at predicting witches. <laughs> Something's up. We did forget to mention in mm. our summary. Mm, there is a bus driver. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yes. yes. There's a whole scene devoted to them riding public transit for the first bubble, time. Bubble, bubble, I'm in trouble. <laughs> bubble, oh, bubble. oh, let me just uh, stop driving my prescribed route and let you ladies go wherever you need to go. If oh, you're gonna, yeah, hey, you want to make some babies? Hey, I'm down. It'll take me a couple tries. Oh, that means ejaculation. <laughs> I'm like, oh. <laughs> Hey, says Sarah Jessica Bob, you want to drive the bus? You, you sit here. Oh, yeah, grab this wheel. Let's go for a ride. I'm hey, a bus driver. It's, it's a stick shift, <laughs> wink. <laughs> anyway, that guy was awesome. Those are all lines for the movie. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Uh, he, yeah, he, he's just the one scene 
uh, one of many scenes that didn't technically need to exist in the movie. <laughs> they serve no real purpose. I guess the bus itself served a purpose. So in this case, I will blame bus. Because uh, the bus <laughs> showed that you could kill uh, oh, the yes. cat and the cat would inflate and be fine. That's yes. true. But this is the second movie where buses, was horny bus work happening. <laughs> Explain. Wait. Oh, yeah. Mrs. Doubtfire. Is that the third horny bus? Wait, Mrs. Doubtfire, remember she gets. <laughs> oh, right. And she's. Uh, uh, when Robin Williams gets on the bus, dresses and Mrs. Doubtfire. And he's like looking at her and he, like, leggings hits, or yeah. something. Oh, that's right? right. What are you thinking of? Speed. Yeah, oh, a lot yeah. of sexy That's the bus horniest time. bus there is. Yeah, but no, the, the subway car is the horny one. Oh, no, I think there's a lot of simmering going on. There's simmering, but there isn't just like straight up like. That's true. Bang. Well, there's not straight up <laughs> banging happening in Hocus Pocus either. I mean, he was trying. Well, he yeah. sure was. Yeah. That was actually pretty. Hey, can I get your area code or something? <laughs> oh. As for, I appreciate the specificity. As for her phone number and area code, yes. <laughs> which makes me think he's been burned before by only getting. <laughs> Seven digits. <laughs> and they'd be oh. like, oh, it's not local. Oh, no. geez, all these Halloween tourists coming through Salem. <laughs> all the hot broads are from <laughs> somewhere else. Oh, I'm the only single guy in all of Salem. That's why they make me drive the bus on Halloween. Yeah. <laughs> Can't go to the party. They didn't no. have to pay a fare or anything. No. 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 Hmm. Anyway, I'm pretty sure he is uh, Joe Prado's near do well cousin or something. Yeah. <laughs> who wasn't allowed to work in the studio system because he was way too aggressive. He just ad lived all those lines. Yeah. Yeah, he, they were just supposed to get on the bus. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is true? <laughs> no. This is a true trivia? No. From truetrivia.org? Truetrivia.org. Truetrivia.org. A trivia you can trust. <laughs> Except for in the case of, what was that movie we just did that I messed up? Uh, Mr. Holland's Opus. Oh, Mr. Mr. Holland's it Opus. It smirched the career of Cage. How dare they? Yeah. yeah. I'm anyway, s- check it out. Mr. Holland's Opus, totsrecall.com slash episode blog, whatever. Yeah. Slash, slash Mr. Holland's Opus. Impromptu totes regret. Mr. Holland's Opus. It turns out it's not based on a true story. <gasps> Sorry, everyone. That was wrong, yeah. too? No, I really think that was wrong because I found it on the one trivia site, but it turns out it's not. Yeah, if you're gonna, I tried to else. find. I tried to find proof that it was based on oh, a secondary true story. source. I could not find but it. You anywhere. know what? I will. It's say, tricky though. It came up in a bunch of places it as did. a true story, mm, but probably it is from not. that one trivia site. Yeah, pretty much Wikipedia when it didn't have it, and I remember Wikipedia was so boring. I didn't stick with it. Yeah, mm. and it turns out, eh, Wikipedia has some value. Did you go to Wikipedia to look at any facts for this movie? Oh no. Oh, it's very dull. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. We'll be singing theme song. Yeah, that's not going to press the button that plays the pre recorded <laughs> song for. Well, the other mm. person who is horny for the witches <laughs> is Gary Marshall. Yes. Yes. Oh, oh and Talk Penny Marshall. about an incredible, unexpected cameo. Mm-hmm. The Marshall Sibs. For some reason. Playing a married couple. Yeah. The witches are idiots, yes. and they think someone dressed as Satan is actually Satan well, who they, they think serve. all the costumes are real. They're like, oh, yeah. there are hobgoblins about. And yeah. then they see Gary Marshall in a very silly pajama-like Satan costume, and they assume it's their master, the Dark Lord Satan. Yeah, and so they come in and just have a party. He's there alone mm-hmm. with his wife, Penny Marshall. Yeah, it's where they – I'm. here's my confusion about that whole scene. Are we to believe that they were having a party and everyone had already left, or they were preparing for a party and no one had arrived? Oh, I think everyone already left because she was in her curlers. Hmm. Oh. But it seemed like they had like stuff set up, right? Yeah, and I there were still lots wait, of kids walking around. I didn't think that they were having a party. I mean, they had a bunch of stuff in the kitchen that was all like. And they're just laid really out. into Halloween. Oh, someone was making a pie. Maybe just Gary Marshall's into Halloween. And yeah, like, I mean, I feel like he he like that day built this whole. He's like, I'm gonna make it look like hell yeah. when the kids come up to the door. Ooh. And so then he like put all his like flames right. and the red lighting, and yeah. he dressed up like Satan, they and he made a pie. Cute little demon and Penny wings on Marshall his dog. was like, "Get yeah. out of here! I'm gonna put on my curlers. Ooh, I'm yeah. gonna watch this uh, commercial about a baby. Dallas is on. <laughs> yeah, that's probably true. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, they ruled. Uh, so did he just let them in because he was like horny for witches? I think so. Well, I think they kind of 
push themselves in, assuming uh, a great deal of familiarity. Yeah, they were mm. like, "Ooh, master, let us serve you." And he's like, "Oh boy, Ooh, okay. oh boy." How many? How how often do I get this at my front door? Yeah, my yeah. wife over there is just watching TV ah, all day. And the I old Madalax <laughs> won't even. <laughs> Uh, a plus, though, because there's a moment when they're in the kitchen and there's a big sign on the fridge that says, Oh, yeah. Uh, Beware, rotten dog. Yep. Yeah. And at first you're like, That what? seems like a weird thing to focus on. Yep. But not until. Dog chases him out. Yeah. Ralph. Dog is also dressed like a little devil. Yeah, that was yep. cute. It's got little right. kind of imp wings. Yeah. Yeah, it was real cute. Anyway, the marshals rule. Marshals do rule. Uh, good job, marshals. Good cameos, but also again, totally unnecessary scene. Unnecessary scene, or no purpose, or completely unnecessary because otherwise you'd be like, "What is this movie?" <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I didn't like um, how dumb the witches were. Mm-hmm. Mm. Like, I I get the comedy of like we're at fish out of right. time, yeah. water. Ooh, I believe everything is real. Like they think the road is just a black river. Yeah. But I don't know, it was too much for like these witches that are the villains. I just wanted them to be a little more competent. Yeah, it was weird because like they set it up at first where it seemed like that Midler's character was not an idiot. Yeah. Like that was kind of the joke is just like, ooh, these are two silly sisters, LOL. But then like, no, she's also pretty stupid. Yeah, but they're like, yeah, they're fooled by everything. Yeah. And well, they have to be defeated by children. Still. Who are not, like, let's just be honest. They're not the most mature children. Not the valedictorians of the class. (laughs) (laughs) No. I feel like there were probably kids who could have, like, there were no Hermione's in this. You know what I'm saying? No. Hermione would have been like, don't light that black can, or that, what is it, black flame flame candle. candle. Yeah. I know better than that. Yes. She would have already read about it. Yeah. Well. Allison and Danny did try to persuade him not to, but Max wanted to show off how cool and unafraid he was. Uh, I believe there was a bet that the reason they would go to which wake up town is that <laughs> yep. the, the dude would want to look cool in front of his crush. Well, yeah. and it had the added dimension of his masculinity um, because of the toxic masculine society we live in had been bruised so badly earlier. Yeah. That you, he did kind of get set up for wanting to establish himself as brave. Mm, yeah. Right, because Ice, Ice <laughs> and, and Jay, Jay. the oh. least intimidating bullies in the history yes. of film. It was Very 90s more bullies. theatrical yeah. than the Sharks and the Jets. Oh, it was amazing. <laughs> it was. It was honestly so over the top. Yeah, yeah they're both wearing like 90s grunge costumes right. like i don't like i don't know how to describe it other than that like yeah it's like a plaid ice has the word ice shaved in the back of his head yeah, yeah. and it a bucket is like, hat. A, like a pre-packaged you would get at a spirit halloween store that's right. like 90s kid right yes <laughs> like a leather jacket yeah. with like plaid wrapped around his waist yeah yeah, because they when they first were introduced, it sort of seemed like, oh, these are just like the weird burnout kids, and maybe Max will befriend them. But then suddenly there's like a not very convincing tonal shift. It's like, oh wait, they're bullies. Yeah, <laughs> they're intimidating him. But they're like theater kid bullies. Oh, absolutely. Or if yeah. someone had just introduced them to theater, I feel like they wouldn't have beat up yeah. on other children. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, you know? they definitely were. That definitely read as like this was the best we could do with the students who tried out with the play. You know what I mean? Like none of the football players tried out, so these are our bullies. Yeah, I mean it's a very Disney portrayal yeah, right. of a bully. Yeah. I would. I don't know. I feel like that's giving Disney short shrift. I mean, I agree. Like it's like it's way too. It's way f- on the far end of the spectrum for sure. Even for Wait, Disney, have you seen like live action Disney movies? Yeah, but this was like. <laughs> Which ones, though? Like, like the new shit? Like High School Musical. Yeah, but this and- is a decade in the past, Beth. This is back when mothers could still die on screen. Well, maybe this was the first of those. Oh, maybe. Uh, maybe they're like, oh, people like over the top. What's his name? Iger or whatever. Maybe he was. Bob Iger. Bob Iger. Maybe he was finally coming in and just like, listen, the kids don't need to see actual intimidating human beings. Just put the kids in bigger clothes than the other kids. Make him steal their shoes. Ooh. Make sure it's a theater kid who's doing a movie for the first time. Just yeah. find the Mouseketeers in the back. 
You know, the leftover ones. Yeah. The ones that aren't allowed to dance at the parks. <laughs> yeah, it was confusing. Oh, P.S. We came up with a theory when we went to Disney that okay. if you fall asleep, if you're a little kid, because yeah. there's this kid that was um, like refusing to leave with her parents. She was so tired. She was probably like eight years old or something. She was just so tired. She didn't want to get up with her parents and have to walk off this little boat. Yeah. And um, we were like, oh, any kid who falls asleep on a Disney property is an employee forever. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's like a curse. No. Yeah, enchanted. Well, I mean, it's uh, kind of like a blessing and a curse, right? It's a I curse. guess it's much it's like a curse. Curse. Yeah. being a, a cat who can't be killed for 300 years. I mean, there's upsides, but it's a little sad. Okay. Too. Nice First, yeah, I'm going to say A plus segue. Wow. Because this is what Molly's referring to is one. <laughs> double, double. <laughs> we are in trouble. <laughs> what a segue. Oh, jeez. Oh, <laughs> Transitioning over so smooth like, like a polished mirror over here. <laughs> Just ice skating across different topics. Anyway, Molly's talking about Thackeray Binks, who is the young man from the past that Ma- uh, Beth so perfectly described. <laughs> in detail. In the 60 yeah. second summary, who tries to save his sister and fails and then is turned into a cat who is apparently immortal. An then immortal apparently cat. in those 300 years learns how to speak English. Good job, Thackeray. Yeah. Because he tries to like get his dad's attention when he's still in... Switch times, but yeah. The, the, the dance is like oh, away from away from me. I foul beast. Ah. I just murdered three women. I need to <laughs> I need to go home and drink a lot. <laughs> and anyway, he apparently learned to talk. <laughs> uh, he is. I mean, he's like his 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 plan is a little suspect at first because it's like okay, I'm just gonna hang around this old house that now has become a museum, and I'm just gonna wait. Until a virgin finally lights his candle, and then I'm going to, I guess, immediately befriend that virgin and explain the situation. <laughs> yeah, he seems to not want the candle to be lit, but then also is like, I think he's conflicted. He, oh, mm. sure. Like to Maybe. release the sisters upon the world again? Yeah, because he doesn't want that to happen, but right. also that has to happen before he can die and join his sister in the afterlife, yeah. which is real and exists in this movie. But he's like, doesn't... <sighs> Maybe he's trying to stop Max Dennison because this kid's an obvious tool and is not the one to <laughs> like release the sisters, but then also defeat them. Well, or maybe he, he says he realizes that that's like his job on Earth is to stop it from happening. Oh, okay. And then I wonder if like then he's like, actually, I think we can end the curse oh, when yeah. he, like, he sees an opportunity. Yeah, because mm. I'm saying if he's just trying to stop it, he's got 300 years to just like mess up that building and like yeah. get rid of the he's candle. A cat, he could just knock it off of its little plinth. Yeah. Say a barrier, like roll about. it into a something else. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Especially once they close the museum. Be a cat about it, Thackeray. Yeah. Lack of funding. Or <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Uh, alternatively, maybe since Thackeray is from 300 years ago, he's just like, wow, this kid is just dripping with masculinity. There's no way he's a virgin. <laughs> he's a virgin. <laughs> Look at that tie dye shirt. Oh, uh, he's not even wearing a. He's not even wearing loose pants made out of hemp. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, he's been. Around for 300 years. That's he true. didn't just wake up. He lived that whole time as a cat. So he's, he's seen, seen how. He's that's seen true. some shit. He's seen the mores shift. Yeah. But he's maybe never seen a hot young thing from California. <laughs> that's what it is. It's that California vibe where he's like, this guy's, there's no way this guy's a virgin. <laughs> Picking avocados right off the tree. Yeah. Speaking of that. Virgins? Yes. Virgins. Yes. Yeah. So why. Much. Okay, this is a children's movie. Yes. And that's the theme that they decided to build. And they like. <sighs> around. Yeah. I bet they cut out half the virgin jokes. I bet they did too. There's still a lot. And it's weird because they didn't even play them up very much like jokes. It almost seemed like they were just like, just say the word virgin sometimes for the parents. They'll chuckle at it. Or or it was like it was in the script, but then the director received the exact opposite direction. Like, make it playful <laughs> and funny. We don't want it to be too serious. Oh, sure. Yeah. Yeah. And so he's like, well, just say the line. Just say it without <laughs> emphasis. Yeah, like like somebody <laughs> came down with whispers was like, Iker says not to have any sexuality in this movie. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh... Okay, guys, uh, just like just just say it as fast as you can with no <laughs> emphasis. Um, I re- yeah, I remember learning what the word virgin meant because there's a big scandal in my elementary school where some Whoa. 
kid Mm -hmm. in my grade was going around asking all the girls if they were virgins. Whoa. And no one knew what it meant. But like (laughs) someone comes up and is like, hey, are you a virgin? Yeah. It sounds bad, right? The way you say that. So no, then it'd be like, you're eight and you've had sex. (laughs) Oh, kids. And that kid got called to the office. Sure. Yeah. Really told to cool it. Yeah. Yeah, talk about cool. But like it spread around. I was like, oh, okay. That's I vividly remember learning. I was like, oh, now I know. Now I know this word. But Um, like, yeah, otherwise you would learn it from Hocus Pocus because you'd watch it and you'd be like, what does that mean? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Uh, But they like, I feel like movies also, I don't know, people really hit on virginity in movies a lot too. Yes. Of this type, right? It's always like the virgin's got to do a thing and then, or be sacrificed or whatever. Oh, even in the Goonies, right? What? Mm -hmm. Really? Maybe I'm thinking of something else. I don't that remember that bathroom thing. Are we talking about the Goonies or is it just some random thing that's in your head? Well, the Goonies is like, I remember a scene of the Goonies where it's like fucking uh, the little kid. Is Which Sha- one? Is that Sean Astin? Uh-huh. It's like, this is the, this will be the little boy's room and this little girl's room. Uh-huh. And then his older brother, Josh Brolin, I think, right? Whoa. Wow. He's at a different spot. He's like, what are you doing? He's like, this is the men's room. Yeah. Mm. Goonies. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I, I might be thinking of a different one. I don't know. I'm writing it down for Goonies watching in the future. Okay, great. <laughs> uh, I'm going to say Thora Birch understood the assignment of being the precocious but irritating little sister. Irritating from her brother's perspective. Mm. Yes. And generally, yeah. she was totally fine and actually sure. not annoying really at all yeah. as young children go in movies. Yeah. Pretty competent. I mean, yeah. she did narc out on him oh, so to good. Allison. So good. Wow. Oh, Yabos. Yeah. Yabos. That was amazing. <laughs> really made me laugh. She talks all about how much her brother likes Yabos yeah. and how much he likes Allison's Yabos. Which is the girl in his class that he likes. Which Allison just laughs off like she's used to that sort of harassment all the time. Or yeah. she maybe she's just kind of like, ah, there's too many people around for me to really <laughs> uh, deal with this right now. I don't know. I don't know. I, don't know. I never have a heart to heart. But they do talk to each other. Definitely past the Bechtel Wallace, like yeah. right and left. Yes. Yeah, Many but not times. every scene. Not no. every scene, no. Lots of male talking at the beginning. Well, it's old times. Yeah. All yeah. the women were witches then. Yeah, the women who talked would get killed because they were witches. <laughs> <laughs> women can't have podcasts. They're witches. Yeah. Yeah. That was not in sepia tones either. No. No. It wasn't. Normal, normal color. Yeah, I'm like, ooh, their ooh, costumes color. are so bright for some reason, even though it's the 1600s. Well, that's how they picked them out as witches. Oh, right. They learned the dark mm. secrets of textile dyeing. <laughs> <laughs> and striped socks. Yes. That was an homage. Yes. To that wicked witch. The wicked witch. Of the East, right? <laughs> yes. Which is the one under the house? East. Wicked Witch of the East. Yep. Boom. Yep. There we you remember go. some stuff. Yeah. And the curly shoes. They also ride brooms in yeah. this. And then, LOL, some kids just straight up steal their brooms. Yeah. Like Not some just trick any or treaters. Kids. A little kid who says, neat broom, and is then credited as little girl, quote, neat broom. Yeah. <laughs> and so they have to make do, and Bette Midler gets a broom. Yep. Sarah Jessica Parker gets a mop. Yep. And Kathy. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> you can do it. MJ. Nimoy. Yep. <laughs> Kathy Nimoy. <laughs> Kathy emoji. Gets a vacuum cleaner. L-O-L. Oh, oh. So funny she so can't control it because it's funny. mechanical and it kind of turns on, but how? Magic. And it's got a cord hanging down from it, which is very important. Later, later. used later to used. pull her. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah. What's all right? The vacuum cleaner. Oh, as a you joke? You thought that was fun? What was the, there was one joke that you were like, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I think it might have been the vacuum cleaner. Her okay. kind of like, vroom, vroom. Yeah. Oh, yeah. the noise yeah. I made? All right. Yeah. You just, you just ex- quietly accepted that joke? <laughs> I wasn't loving the movie. Sure. Um, <laughs> it was a quiet void of where you're sitting. So it was nice to have a thing that I c- kind of enjoyed. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Um, I have to say, Sarah Jessica Parker's character really grew on me. Okay, I'm listening. I 
first I was like, I don't know. I guess I've seen lots of characters played that way, you sure, know? Sure, 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 sure. But towards the end, she was delivering lines, and I was like, well, that was that was great. Yeah, she had some fun line deliveries. I enjoyed that. I feel like the three of them really went all out on their characters. They did. Mm-hmm. Like, the way that Kathy Emoji mm-hmm. does that thing with her chin. At one point, she, like, <laughs> Bette Midler's character is, like, slapping her face. Yeah. And her she's always got her chin kind of off to one side. Yeah. But when it gets slapped, she switches it to the other side uh, and then gets slapped on the other side. I was like, that's pretty that's good. Fun. Yeah. That's super fun. Good physical comedy. Those ladies were having fun with their roles. They truly were. I'm mm-hmm. sure they were. Yes. <laughs> Tangiquet was not. <laughs> I mean, I agree that it was like there was a lot of bits between them that did not really land. Uh, no. Like it felt like it was like, okay, what if this were the three stooges for the next th- three minutes straight. We're just going to leave the camera on. Yeah. And then we'll go back to the children who are afraid you're going to kill them. <laughs> <laughs> I did like a dad in this movie. Here we go. Uh, Max is dad. At first I thought he was kind of a deadbeat when he's playing with gadgets while they're unpacking. Oh, and sure. Max comes home shoeless and says his day sucks. Yeah. Mm. Um, and then they're like, eh. Oh yeah. What do you say? He's like, Oh, it must be protest. Yeah, it must be a protest. It's like, what do you think he did with the shoes, Dad? Yeah. <laughs> That's like typical California, though. Oh, is it? It's like, oh, I don't even need shoes. It's, it's a bunch p- of liberals protesting 72 stuff. 72 degrees, the Pacific air will cushion my soul. That's right. That's right. <laughs> or my, what is it? The thing on your actual foot. Arch. <laughs> yeah. That's part of your foot. Yeah. Can uh-huh. confirm. Dad. Can confirm. Anyway, Heel. Dad. So, oh, right. not great then, but then. Suddenly. He. Is dressed as Dracula at the uh, parent party. Yeah. And then his son's like, Oh, you're Dracula. And he goes, No, I'm Dadula. Absolutely. And I have absolutely filed that away to use yes. later. Yes. <laughs> no, you, you probably, that was the happiest I saw you the entire viewing of this film <laughs> yep. was when he said Dadula in a Dadula voice. Yeah. 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 I think I've never seen you this unhappy at a movie. That can't be true. Oh. Well, I'm sorry. This balance of unhappiness with quietness. Yeah, it wasn't so bad where I was energized by being mad about it. (laughs) (laughs) But I was just kind of bored Mm -hmm. the whole time. Teaser. Mm. Yeah. I mean, it is, it's like a 90 minute movie or about 90 minutes that felt much, much longer to me. It did. Well, part of it is that false ending. Oh, yeah. (laughs) At one point, they, uh, they, trick the three witches oh that was the joke i thought was funny okay so they use a boom box because it's 1993 uh which is just playing like a french conversation tape uh you know to teach you french and they use that to lure the witches into what turns out to be the boiler kiln it's a pottery kiln oh it's a pottery kiln that explains all the art Okay. You thought just like the custodian was just like, ooh, this is where I keep my treasures. No, I just, I'd be honest, I wasn't really looking at my phone that much. Um, But anyway, they they go into the kiln and they light it on fire Mm -hmm. and the witches burn and they watch for a really long time. Yeah. P.S. Just. It's like, I don't know that I keep, anyway. At least like maybe take your little sister away from the three burning humans. Oh. Uh, but anyway, the witch's uh, energy just shoots out through the chimney. Yep. And so they, yeah, do they turn? They just turn into green smoke. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I guess yeah. they just like it takes them a minute to like okay. get back together. Or something. And then they right. reconstitute. Anyway, then they the kids leave, patting themselves in the back. Yeah. Um, and then the witches come back and yes. they walk through the door and like, oh, that was uncomfortable. I hate that. And. Oh, Bette Miller says something in French. She says, like, I want my book. And oh, then yeah. she says it again in French. That's She's right. Oh, hello. Well. Yes. It was very funny. That yeah. is, that's a good joke. It's pretty good. Pretty good joke. Sarah Jessica Parker didn't say it, though. So now I'm, there was, must have been another one. That was Bette Miller joke. That was a Bette Miller joke. Yeah. She loves have... book. She loves book. She loves book. book. They are best friends. Book no, is gross. I feel like book is nasty. Book is made from human skin. It's book should have so a name. So gross. And name has an book. eyeball. Name that book. The book is named book. <sighs> Not helpful. Do you think that? Wait. Do you think that that eyeball came from like the same body that the skin came from? Yes. Ugh. So do you yeah. think that the book it's like is a person? Mm. Whoa. Do you know what I mean? Like it was the whole book was a person, and now it has turned into a book. 
Hmm. I don't know. It's how much skin do you need to make a book? It's for, <laughs> oh, I don't. Well, let's not play that game. And definitely do not do an internet search for that. <laughs> um, I mean, it's it seems like still one person. I don't, I think don't you know. Need more it's than all one person. I. You know what? <laughs> Yeah, but what if it's like uh, uh, Silence of the Lambs, oh, you need, like certain parts? Let's to just make table this. <laughs> this. Let's table this. It's right. a creepy book, and it. But you're right; it should have a better name. I like, just think it is a complete some flavor. book of spells. Like even the Necronomicon would be like the lowest hanging fruit, right. To do for the book. What, like, okay, so you're pitching this. They're because they're making either a reboot or like a sequel yeah, or Hocus a remake. I can't Tocus. remember. Unclear. What's the ISBN Hukus number? Tukus. <laughs> What's Hukus Hukus Tukus? What would you want it to be called? Yeah. Oh, it's just something fun. Disney's listening. Disney's listening. Um, oh, God, I'm not really on the spot here. Yeah, you are. <laughs> the book. Hocus Pocus. <laughs> Hocus Pocus? <laughs> yeah, like book. Uh, <laughs> I beat him halfway. Hocus you want Bocus. Bette Midler to sing Hocus Bocus over and over throughout the movie? Yeah, that'd be cool. Hocus Bocus. Hocus <laughs> <laughs> Latin-y like the spellers are. Okay, so you want it to have a, okay, I guess what I'm asking is you or want that. it to have a book name, not a person name. Oh, yeah, I want it to have a book You'd name. You'd be like, Theodore. <laughs> Henry. Oh, Theodore is good, though. Yeah. <laughs> that would be fun in a different way. Like, sure. Oh, it would, I was trying to do like, like a thesaurus horror. and Theodore thing together. The, yes. Theodorsis. Theodorsis. Uh, Theodorsis. 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 That's great. Disney? Hey, Theodorsis. We know you're listening to make sure we don't do anything that you want to sue us for. So. Yeah. So maybe pay us instead. Yeah. yeah. For th- Promoting for one, the- Hocus Tucus. <laughs> yeah. The second one that's coming soon, <laughs> presumably. I don't know. Is it just... I don't even know. It announced times. it's made. Do we know who's in Hocus Tucus? The internet said it's being made. I don't know. Tucus Pucus? Tucus Pucus. <laughs> Hocus Tucus, colon, the witches are back. Baby. baby. The witches back, baby. The witches back, baby. Uh, the reckoning. The reckoning, the return. The back. rebookening. Back in the house. Thank you for purchasing a ticket to <laughs> Hocus Tucus, the movie you're watching right now. The Poconine. The Pocus. Poconos. Poconos. Hocus Pocus 2 in the Poconos. In the Poconos. Oh, that's fun. Ah, anyway, know. book is named Book, uh, and Bette Midler summons it by going book, which yeah. is kind of fun. Speaking of Bette Midler singing, uh, someone, I don't know if it was Bette Midler's people or the people making the movie who had uh, clinched Bette Midler to the cast, decided Bette Midler needs to sing a whole song to cast a spell. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And like a full on, like, like number. Yeah, she did a number yeah. at the parent party to trap them into dancing until they die. Yeah. Yeah. She's a good singer and performer. She's, listen, she's very talented. Uh, I guess it's. Do you think they practiced that 300 years ago? Because like the other two sisters seem to know like their moves and their Maybe call and response. Intrigued. But they also like they knew things later in the movie that they didn't know. Like they were yeah. early, like when they first arrive in the. In the future, yeah. they're afraid of the asphalt. They think, yeah, yeah as we said earlier. Oh, I did enjoy when they were afraid of the uh, uh, emergency vehicle right yes, after that. That, that was, was fun. funny. And then later, they're making jokes. Yeah, I mean, so they understand it so much now that they are making jokes about being police officers yeah. pulling over a driver. Give me your driver's permit. Yeah, arrest and arrest. Yeah, maybe. So maybe they're. Quick learners. Yeah, maybe, maybe when they were in the school, Bette Midler was just like, where are the other tapes? And just fought, got every book on tape mm. she could find and brought it back to their house. That's how they spent their 12 hours of time on Earth. Yep. I guess I will accept book as book in the reality that this is the only book they've ever known about. Ooh, mm. great point. Because they didn't, they only had, there was only the Bible in 1693. And maybe like and Satan... They, <laughs> Can't handle that. Maybe mm-hmm. Satan was like, "Take this book," and they're like, "Ooh, what shall we call it?" Matthew's like, "I don't care. I guess it's, it's a the book. only one. It's a book." <laughs> In which wow. case, they should have had their minds blown by, by the books? library. Ooh, right. Yeah, that's cool. wow. true. I'd like to circle back, if I may, to the moments where they think that the witches are defeated and all is well, mm. and Halloween is saved. Oh, yeah, they yes. really wrap it up. Mm-hmm. Like the cat's gonna be their best friend, okay. and Max and Allison. That is a gross 
minimization, I feel like, of the scenario that Danny, the little sister, is presenting. Because okay. she is going to sleep with uh, Thackeray Binks, mm -hmm. yeah. who seems to have accepted, like, oh, you're going to make me a fat house cat. That's nice to yeah. be loved. But then she's like, she's accepted that he's immortal, so she's like, I'll take care of you, and my children will take care of you, and their children will take care of you. It's like... Only known him for like a few hours. It's promising a lot. And yeah. also, like this dude's been around for centuries. Like maybe he doesn't want to just stay yeah, with the same family for the rest of his life. He's an independent cat. Yeah. And hey. None of us understands what our fertility journey is going to be. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just it's a lot of it's pretty forward thinking. For I also a eight year old. It is, but I and also like not enough forward thinking because like what is that conversation going to be in the inheritance, <laughs> right? <laughs> Like, oh. This cat has creepily been alive for 50 years. So wait, so grandma's cat is just going to stay here? <laughs> yeah. The cat gets the house, and if you <laughs> want to live here, you have to take care of the cat. I mean, yeah, you, you can only get keep a ruse going for so long. Right. <laughs> like, oh, no, I just like black cats, and I always name it the same thing. Yeah. My beloved childhood cat, Binks. And also, it speaks English. Don't right. worry about yeah, it. Don't worry about it. But also, you have to take care of it, or you will lose everything. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like the fact that the cat's like still around is a dead giveaway that the witches aren't right dead. But come on, I suppose they have to be sort of stupid for the movie to work. Well, it's not really clear. He's Binks. To their credit, Binks has really established this as this is Binks' fate, and there is no changing it. Right? Sure, sure, sure. I think the moment we're missing. So as Danny is having this experience with this book with the cat that mm -hmm. she's promising. Mm -hmm herself and future generations too. <laughs> the two teens yeah. are doing a very odd sitting up cuddle fall asleep situation. Yeah. It's fine. Right yeah. next to a book made of human skin <laughs> with a human <laughs> eyeball on it. And it's like, I guess it's supposed to be sweet, but they're not like it's like propped up behind them too. It's not yeah. like yeah, they like buried it. Put a sheet over yeah. it at least. It's like got something. an eyeball. It's gonna see Jesus. you. Oh, it's Try really to get those creepy. Yabos. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it is. It is just really odd. And they're like, "Wow, our parents must really be partying." Yeah. Yeah, they really accept that. Like that's just what parents do. I mean, they did stand there and watch the three of them burn. They're not going to go check on their parents, like... At all? That's true, because they understood that a spell was being cast, because they're like, cover your ears, cover yeah. your ears. So, yeah, why They don't know what the spell is. Right, they should have gone back to see if they are all, like, toads. Yeah, something. something. They could have all point. been cats. Dumb kids. Maybe they were really tired by that point, and they didn't even think about it. They had it. been up all night. They had been up all night, and kids... And also, he's got yavels on the brain. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Well, <laughs> oh, come on. But there was nothing about... It was honestly as if you had taken two cardboard cutouts and just sort of like <laughs> tried to fit them in frame. Look, like there was nothing comfortable. Look, two teens who have only known each other for a few hours who are definitely hot. <laughs> they are still going to, you know, there's a lot of this like awkward physical contact where it's just sort of like there's no been there's been no real communication of like what is considered allowed between the two of them. Yeah. So it's like, oh, I'm just going to lean up against you and put this blanket over me and we'll just sleep here for a while. And then, you know, deep down in both their lizard brains, they're just like losing their goddamn minds. Yeah. Mm. They almost kiss. They though. do almost kiss. Well, they're getting the salt. That's true. I mean, if there's anything that's going to get two teens <laughs> raring to go, it's salt. <laughs> Reaching for salt off the top shelf. If you know what I mean. They pass right by that six pack of seven up. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Very prominently displayed seven yeah. up. Yeah. And sugar in the raw. Sugar in the raw. And then, but then the salt that she got is just salt. It's just yeah. called salt. It looks like they put a, a sticker over like a Morton. Oh, for sure. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 I'm sure it was like some producer just like, no, do you, all, do you know how many minutes that salt's going to be on camera? They got to pay for that shit. <laughs> yeah. And they um, couldn't close the sales they deal. They couldn't close the sales. Yeah. It's like, excuse me. The Al Alyssa is going to be whipping that thing around for like five minutes straight. But you're telling me this salt is some kind of antidote to mean witches? I don't know if that's good product placement. You're leaving money on the table. Are you kidding me? Ah, that? put a sticker on it. These <laughs> idiots don't know a deal when they see it. <laughs> yeah, maybe I'll put salt around myself to protect me from you. Hey. Hey, how about that? Yeah. That's oh, how the meeting went. Then, yeah. they re then he's like, then he again goes down to the director and whispers, 
oh, they need you to rewrite the scenes of salt on the top shelf, so it's not very prominent. <laughs> yeah, seven up can be seven up can be center frame, but the salt has to be. <laughs> <laughs> we got sugar in the raw. We got seven. Up, but but the Morton's people, Morton. the Morton's couldn't people, Morton. <laughs> just couldn't close. close. <laughs> so they sorry. wouldn't get on board. And then they just bat the coffee out of their hands. Yeah. Yep. No coffee. No salt. No coffee. <laughs> <laughs> this is hocus fucking hocus we're making here. Morton doesn't want to get on this. Fuck them. <laughs> God, yeah, the sequel's probably gonna be like Seven Up presents Hocus Focus too. Yeah. Okay. Hocus Tocus. Hocus seven Pocus. Pocus. Whoa. Oh, seven Pocus. <laughs> What were we talking about? I don't know. <laughs> teens kissing. Almost. <laughs> they don't. Yeah. I mean, I guess it's because it's full Disney movie. There's like not even. They can't even smooch? They can't even smooch. Come on, Iger. I assume. I don't know. It's it just came like, down from the top. It's just kind of a. Did they, they not smooch whole... in the high school musical? No. Yeah. No, I, don't, I haven't There's seen it. Like, I haven't either. I haven't seen it. I've only seen a very hilarious uh, bad lip reading of it. Mm. Uh, I highly recommend it if you are in a silly mood. Yeah, it's like very it. funny. Uh, I don't know what tweet at us. Yeah. Uh, With what? High School Musical Kiss. Oh yeah. Or no kiss. Yeah. Sure. Great. 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 Well, before we get to our final ratings and reviews of the movie we just watched, Hocus Pocus. Yeah. One, the original Hoke. <laughs> <laughs> we uh, like to um, Hunkus one kiss. Oh, yes, one kiss. <laughs> Sorry, po- one kiss. <laughs> po- <laughs> no, um, we like Hocus. to hear Hunkus punkus. Hocus focus. Wow. Ah. <laughs> oh, yes. We like to read a review in the style of a character from the movie we just watched. Hocus focus. The one kiss. Po- fucking, ah. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but we don't have reviews, but we Ooh. do have a voicemail. What? So that is another thing that we do now. How would we receive a voicemail? How's it possible? You would call in on your phone and you would dial this number. Open it up. 612 The last four letters don't matter, but you do. Two T's and putt. <laughs> also, to- go to totsrecall.com to get the number if that song didn't help you because you are a witch. And as we know about witches, they are just, they can't figure some stuff out. Yeah. No, you just scroll down. Yep. It's right at the bottom. Well, close to the bottom. You'll see it. It's You'll pretty see big. It. It's, it's prominent. It's pretty obvious that it's a phone number, not some other weird number. Yeah. yeah. We don't it's just have a phone random number. series of numbers. <laughs> on the Ooh, you must answer the riddle of the Totes Recall <laughs> website. We got the phone number and the area code. Nice. No big deal. We're going to get a date with the bus driver. (laughs) All right, ready? Yes, so ready. Hey, Uh, Ah. Dudes. My question has nothing to do with movies. Well, it has something to do with movies, with uh, Hank Cresthorn, I guess. Each of you, what was your favorite costume that you've ever worn? Uh, Mine was a... Star Trek The Next Generation style captain's jacket that my mom made. Oh, yeah. It was very good, and I loved it. Uh, looking forward to hearing about this. Love the show. Bye. Wow. That is great. great. Thank you. A voicemail. Thank I you, want... anonymous listener. Look at what my phone background is right now. It's... The captain. captain is that Captain Picard? It's captain Picard. Captain Picard. I'm just very happy with that. T, Earl Grey hot. T, Earl Grey hot. Um... I am also wondering if it's like a jacket, like he wears sometimes like a casual jacket. Yeah, I love his cash jacket. And I wonder if that's what cash, it, Oh, like when he's not is. like full on captaining, he's just got yeah. his like uniform that isn't really sometimes uniform. Sometimes he wears it when he's captaining too. It's I just think, like mm, a maybe when it's like cold, he's or like feeling a, a little formal, cold. It's like yeah. a formal. It's just a little more formal. Maybe. When he's like loose, he's got like a full V like okay. blousey. Tweet at us, <laughs> track heads. Does the Enterprise have... Uh, seasonal changes so humans don't go crazy. Oh. So maybe sometimes the ship is like autumnal. Mm. That's why he wears the jacket. Oh, interesting. Maybe. Maybe. Well. Anyway, great voicemail. Costumes. Great voicemail. I, hmm. Mine was Pink Power Ranger that my grandma made me. Oh, The whole thing? Yeah. 
She made? Sewed, yeah, she made it. It was made of like, I think it was like felt cool. or um, maybe like a fleece or something like that. Do you have a like a helmet? Yep, it was like a fabric helmet. So oh, nice. Velcroed. Yeah. Um, but I was very into the pink Power Ranger for my, I think, age of five. Sure. <laughs> that was really Did sweet. you have any sort of uh, shield around the eyes or was this open so you could... No, that was open, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, you're going out at night. You got yeah. to see. I got to see. Good thinking, Grandma. Yeah. It was great. In my uh, 20s, as a partying twenty mm-hmm. man, I <laughs> once dressed as a refrigerator. I'm listening, and I was very proud of how much work I put into it. It was a giant cardboard box, of course, of course. But yes. then I papered over the whole thing with just printer paper, so it was white, mm-hmm. and then had a door that opened on the front, and then I drew food inside with crayons. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Yeah, and it was really good because you could rest your drink like on top of the fridge, which was like head level. You didn't oh. want to hold it. Oh, so your your head was not. My in head the came out the top, okay. and my arms came out the sides. Got it. That was very. Boxy you didn't have costume. like a f- top freezer that you could open up to show your head. That would have been pretty good, but no. been cool. Nice next year. Uh, oh, all right. <laughs> you and your son will go as refrigerator and <laughs> toaster oven. Sure. <laughs> I mean, it probably has to be like a Godzilla toaster oven. Yep. He loves Godzilla. Good kid. My name is Dan. That's my cousin. <laughs> <laughs> Um, oh, that's a great question. I, I probably, I, I mean, when I was a kid, probably similar to Beth's situation where my mom made me like a full on Ghostbuster uniform. Uh, it was like the, you know, the proper brown color. It had like the little patches on it Yeah. and I already had the proton pack toy. So it looked pretty authentic. Wow. Um, then my favorite costume as an adult was probably, uh, cause every year, yeah, we'd, we'd be partying 20 somethings and we'd go to some <laughs> dumb Halloween party in college. And I always didn't try very hard because I found that funny. Cause I was a, you know, 20s. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I had like a weird shitty wizard's hat. I don't know why I owned it. Uh, and it was also cold that year, that fall. So like, I just had like a nice jacket, you know, like a warm jacket on and the wizard's hat. And we decided like anytime anyone asked me to do that, if you like, Fucking wizard, the <laughs> the wizard. Uh, yeah, that's what made it. That's what amused me so much. Is yes. that I was like, it's so obvious. I'm the wizard. Yeah, yeah. Mm. it was a good time. That's funny. <laughs> Although one time my friend, <laughs> for some reason, just wrote. I think we just wrote cub cub foods on t-shirts. <laughs> I don't remember. There was more to it than that. That made sense to our brains at the time. But I believe we just wrote cub foods on white t-shirts, and that was our costume yeah. for a Halloween yeah. party. I had a, this isn't my favorite one, but I had sort of a theoretical costume like that Ooh. where uh, there was a time, and I know no one will believe this, but Old Navy was saturating the airwaves with Old Navy fleece. Yeah. Oh, it was I remember that. Every <laughs> ad. And so Old I Navy, wore. Old Navy. Old, Old Navy, Navy performance, performance fleece. fleece. <laughs> so that's what I did is I wore uh, <laughs> all Old Navy stuff. And then I made like, um, I took one of their fleece hats and I made like a little, um, Sheep out of it, yeah. Performance fleece with like headband and everything. Awesome. Uh, it was okay. I mean, people really didn't enjoy that costume. I remember <laughs> nobody likes to be told the answer to what are you wearing as a pun or like at all. Oh, like, I think those stupid. people are garbage. Well, those were I going. That's where I was going to parties. Um, but I think <laughs> one of my favorite costumes, the one that was the most of a joy to wear, is um, when I worked at Cartoon Network. People dressed up on Halloween. As various things, and I always felt pretty intimidated by that because feel very creative and sure. very into toys and all things okay. anime and animation. Were you required to dress up as a property that they had oh, control over? No, okay. absolutely not. Although I think anybody coming in as SpongeBob would probably get a little side side eye. <laughs> um, but uh, I decided to dress as my colleague, like yes. one of my favorite coworkers, because he yes. had this really distinctive style of dress Uh and so i wore everything that he did like i cut off my pants the way that he like all that like he used to wear like three-quarter length pants and all this stuff anyway i did a pretty good job uh and it was a really fun one and he let me his glasses to like take some pictures and stuff and we had a really good time and towards the end of the day uh another colleague like stopped by the door and it's like you know it just just really helps me appreciate his style i mean like you did all the stuff that he does, but you look like shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, 
Oh, thank you. That's been a really wow. fun day. But it was. It was really fun. That's amazing. Yeah, I had a. I took a picture with a colleague who dressed as herself in the eighth grade, which oh is gosh, still funny. one of my favorite. Nice. One of my favorites. So. Nice. Nice. Good. Yeah, what a great question. I would not have thought of that. Great question. Great question. Great costume. Great Great question. Great question. Great Great oldies. Great. Yep. That was a radio station in the Twin Cities. Was (laughs) it? What was it? Something. Oh. That, uh, who cares? Yeah. (laughs) If you also (laughs) lived here when Beth and I lived here, which is always, tweet at us. Great something. Great oldies. Great oldies. Good oldies? Good times? Good times, great oldies. Yes, that's it. Yeah. Oh. I just guessed that. Good times, know. great oldies? Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's yeah, it. That's pretty that's good. Right. That's that's right. a, I mean, it's a it's a good tagline. Yeah. Great enthusiasm. Look, Beth and I grew up in middle class western suburbs of the metro area. We don't have a lot of interesting <laughs> stories in <laughs> <from> childhood. <laughs> Okay, our rating system, as we all know and remember, is Hocus Smokus, Amazing. which is uh, which marketed cigarettes, mm-hmm. yep. um, and they're magic. Yes. Yep. We don't know what they do, but they are magic. Oh, and by the way, the first thing that comes on screen when you start playing this movie is a warning that there is tobacco use Ooh. in the film. Mm-hmm. Which I think is just Penny Marshall? Yes, and also the two teens are like looking for money for cigarettes. Oh, right. oh yeah, you got, butts. Like, you got butts. Amazing. It's <laughs> the first line yeah. to Max Dennison. Incredible. So this is a this is a, a, a witch tobacco that can only be lit by magic wands. Mm-hmm. That's right. And can only be found in magical locations. I believe. Yeah. Imagine yep. you could like blow cool smoke dragons or whatever. Yeah. Oh. Like the only reason, like as much as like Gandalf point makes it seem like he's just like a super cool wizard. The only reason he could do that was because he had Hocus Smokus. Tobacco. That's right. Yeah. That's yep. right. That pipe weed. Oh yeah. That's <laughs> <laughs> what they call it. Yeah. Um, Dan, you gave it hey, three. I sure did. And you thought it was a goof as a kid, but maybe it was terrible now. <sighs> yeah. I mean, it was a goof and I didn't hate it, but it also was just like, there was a lot of stuff in there that just was like, let's pad the movie out by the witches being goofy. But I didn't really enjoy the goofiness to that extent. Like I was fine with just them being goofy while they threatened to kill children. <laughs> Yeah. Um, yeah, I think I'll stick. Oh, no, I'll, here's, a, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stick with three packs of Hocus Smokas, but I will also add. Got a couple of Lucy's. A couple of Lucy's for that <laughs> bus driver, that <laughs> horny bus driver, because he was great. Bubble, bubble, I'm in <laughs> trouble. Bubble. But he also, opens with that. That's yeah. his line when he, he opens says the it's door. So weird. Bobble, bobble. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, bobble, bobble. Ay, 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 pulling his collar. Oh, I'm sweating through my bus uniform. <laughs> yeah, three and, I don't know, 0.25. Great. Like smoke us. Wow. Beth, you gave it three. They're going to be okay. But maybe there'd be some wackadoo moments that would be fun. Yeah, there definitely are some fun moments in it. But mostly it's kind of... I don't know. It feels very slow, but maybe it's because I've seen it so many times. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I uh, I'm gonna stick with three. I thought I think it's an okay movie. So you've got one pack on one sleeve, one pack on the other sleeve. Yeah, and I'm smoking all the rest of them. Oh, cool! Wow. Yeah, very cool. But I mean, yeah. teens don't, 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 don't. Hey, smoke. teens, listen up. Don't smoke cigarettes unless you want to look really. Cool. <laughs> Beth, no. <laughs> Beth, no. <laughs> Awesome. Uh, my name is Dan. I'm third. I gave it a two. Thinking I would just like a horror family film is not what I want out of a movie. As previewed, I was bored by most of the movie. I don't know. I feel like everybody was doing a good job. I think it was just too much of a polished family movie didn't have enough wackadoo or that I could really connect with. It was just like, all right, we're making a family movie. So is, <laughs> you did a good job. <laughs> two. Stick with two. All right. All right. One in each yeah. sleeve. Looking cool. Looking yeah. cool. And you know what? I just realized I did take notes during your pre-call. Oh, okay. oh right. And I think, I think you actually did pretty well. You said Bette Midler, Sarah Jessica Parker, and the... Witches slash John Wick 3, maybe. Yeah, wrong about that. Wrong about that. That's okay. 
Uh, bad people eat children. Family movie fail. Some kids reuse spell book. <laughs> reverse spell book. They reverse the spell using a book. And... Nether regions. Sucked to the nether regions. <laughs> Cat can talk. Wow. Sure. Pretty that good. That's pretty good. Yeah. 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 And yet, only two. <laughs> No, yeah, one, was. no surprises. No surprises. No one was stuck to the nether regions. They kind of turn to stone and explode into lasers. Right. Um, I mean, I, I assume the nether regions were their destination. Right. I suppose the lasers could shoot into their nether regions. Yeah. Or oh, I didn't mean that from literally. <laughs> Wait, did you always mean it literally? What's literal? literally? What's literal nether regions? Like the groin. No. Yeah. Like the Nether, it's like a it's like a evil space. Yeah, that's what I thought you meant originally, but then you start talking about lasers going in there, and I was like, "Well, the witches explode into lasers. I don't know. Maybe the lasers go to the Nether region." Yeah, Nether lasers. Molly, what did what are you what are wow. you what did you rate it? What you was rated? yeah? What was my what did I say it was gonna do? You said three. Um, you like the costumes. No, I definitely said I did not like the costumes. There's a mean. There's a mean. Wafer, <laughs> and there's a talking cat. Mean witches. Like, mean witches. Talking cat. <laughs> Could be wafer. I don't know. <laughs> it's just like, they gotta sign there's not wafer. enough letters for witches. It's like a W and then like well, a That's because you're writing like deep S. into the crease of your notebook. <laughs> Sorry, I ran out of room. <laughs> just get another line. I'm out of lines. I'm in the bottom <laughs> corner. In the nether region is of the book. Whoa. <laughs> Call back. Call Beth. Hey. Hey. 612-809. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. So you said three. Get that area code. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, I said three. That was so generous. Y'all, wow. I... Okay, I love these actresses, and I believe if I had watched this movie as a child, mm. that's it, that's and I had a nostalgic attachment, I would have enjoyed... Enjoyed this to the nether regions and beyond. <laughs> yes. Wow. wow, 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 wow. wow. Enjoy things there. <laughs> I mean, it depends on Unless the they're the literal ones. Right? Oh. <laughs> okay. All bubble, right. Bubble. <laughs> let's, let's cool it, Dan. Let's everybody cool it. Um, I, you know what? I, uh, I've been trying to cut back anyways. I'm going to give it uh, two packs of Hocus Mocus. All right. Um, but with affection for the fans of this movie, if that makes sense. Yeah. Like, I think I enjoy the fans of the movie more than I enjoyed the movie. Like, you arrange the cigarettes into, like, a little heart shape. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then, like, And sorry. they can have as many as they want. That's true. As many yeah. what? Yeah, they cigarettes? can have. Yeah. 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 Hey, kids. It's magic cigarettes. You can have as many cigarettes as you want. <laughs> as long as they're magic. <laughs> yeah. These are magic cigarettes. Yes. Ooh. Oh, God. Don't give them any ideas. No. no this is all terrible. Don't vape either. Hey, yeah. unless you're, uh, uh, what's her name? Who? Uh, Sarah Jessica Parker? No, Ka Katie, Ka Kate Winslet. She Kate can vape? Winslet? She can vape? Oh, yeah, oh can mayor vape. of vape town. Oh, mayor oh, of vape mayor town. <laughs> I see. Fucking vapes like a champion. Yeah, if you're going through some heavy shit. Well, you, you and you're, as a full-grown adult person yeah. who maybe is trying to give up smoking. Yeah. But she's great. Yeah. Hey, Winslet. Hey. You're crushing. You're crushing. Five Red. Hocus Smokus. She should be in Hocus Tocus. I'd watch a Kate Winslet in yeah. a Hocus Tocus. Yeah. As like a hard, hard drinking, <laughs> hard living <laughs> witch hunter or something. Oh. Ooh. Right? Comes yeah. in on, a, on a, like a loud hog and just like. <laughs> Hocus uh, Toke this. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There were witches in town. Friggin' pulls out a crossbow. Absolutely. <laughs> I literally do not know what her actual accent is. What? She's. Kate I Winslet. was laughing at a thing Molly said. Oh, <laughs> sorry. What did you say? I was too busy thinking about this. Oh, it doesn't motorcycle. matter. It's best if it just goes unnoticed. All right. It's fine. Well, the tweet at us, it. listeners. <laughs> what Molly's saying, Dan? Say it in all caps and tweet it at them, please. Yes, what do will it. Molly say? <laughs> what will Molly say? What did Molly say? I don't remember. Ah, uh, Dan's too much busy talking about his bullshit. <laughs> What did Molly say? I don't remember. Shut up, Dan. Let Molly talk unimpeded. You talk too much 
You talk all the time, you stupid jerk, you dummy, you big old dumb jerk. Stop talking and ruining the podcast. (laughs) This is a song of joy. (laughs) I'm casting a spell on on myself. The spell, hey, you know what? The spell of negative talk. Teens, I was gonna say, stop casting that spell on yourself. Don't be, don't be yelling. Be spelling. Be spelling. Positive affirmations for yourself. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, get into a calming circle like the witches do. Yeah. Oh. Find two friends to we calm yourselves keep together. About this movie. <laughs> Totes Recall is hosted by Molly Chase, Beth Gibbs, Dan Jaquette, and Dan Linden. Produced by Beth Gibbs. New episodes of Totes Recall drop on the 15th of every month. For more information and bonus content, visit us at totesrecall.com. Thank you so much for listening.